Hey, Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for Friday, October 14th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Two of Pentacles, the Wheel card, and the Four of Cups. Oh, Virgos. All right. So you guys may have been in some sort of disconnection or you're not communicating with this person at the moment with the two of cups in reverse because this person was very guarded. They weren't sure what they wanted with the nine of wands. And unfortunately, because they kept going back and forth, back and forth, because they were going through a lot, they were multitasking a lot of shit. They were not able to give to you with the two of cups in reverse. All right. This person was going against absolutely everything. They knew that they knew what you deserve. They knew that they should have spoiled you. They knew that they should have given to you. And for whatever the fuck what, they were giving you only bare minimum. And you guys don't deserve that. You guys deserve a whole lot more for sure with the Nine of Cups because you guys already bring everything to yourselves at the end of the day. And this person wasn't able to see that. It's not, it's not, it's, I do believe it's unfinished business between the two of you guys. But at the end of the day, Virgos, you guys chose yourselves, Nine of Cups. Like, <clears throat> you're not going to allow anyone to make you feel like you have to beg them for a little bit of love, affection, kindness. Like, if they're going through a lot of shit with the Nine of Wands, who are you to chase after anybody, right? You got to like respectfully just move out of the way, four of cups. And that's exactly what you guys did. You're like, fine, if you don't want me, then I'm, I got no choice but to move on. So the connection became stagnated it is what it is. And that's because this person was hiding a lot of shit behind your back with the moon card. Uh, they were going to try and communicate with you coming in with the next eight days. Uh, maybe October 18th, this person's going to be communicating with you. Um... Yeah, Virgos, October 18th. They're saying October 18th. Maybe this person is going to be reaching out to you, okay? Uh, uh, there's a partial eclipse coming into on October 25th, so maybe around that time too. So between October 18th and October 25th, this person is going to be contacting you and reaching out to you. But the connection is absolutely done and over with. It's ten of swords. There's no coming out of this situation now. Like, you fucked up. Like, you're going to put a, nine of, a person who's in the nine of cups to make them feel like they need to sit there and beg you for a little bit of what exactly? So, yeah, Virgos, uh, maybe this person was married and you guys didn't know about it with the two of swords. If things were like, it's like, it's like, wake up already, like wake up. Like you guys know the truth for exactly what it is. Uh, somebody here is not divorced yet. Separation for sure is what I'm picking up on. But this Virgo here, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn this isn't really sure. They, they, there's something that they're not able to see. And that's because this person was definitely a, ma a magician. They were able to cover it all up they're they're good at stuff like that but nonetheless you guys are manifesting your own heart desires you guys are manifesting uh your own things doing your own thing stepping back into your power knowing that you guys can create anything that it is that you guys want you guys are single happy and healthy is what i'm picking up here a lot of you guys might be having your eye on the taurus for capricorn this person's very successful but you guys are not in connection with this person with the four of wands in reverse but Nonetheless, I do see a message coming in from them or from you guys, and this person's going to reach out to you. They're going to talk back to you as well. So if you contact them, they're going to contact you too. And this person is probably going to be at work when you contact them or vice versa. But at the end of the day, you guys are going to end up sitting there talking to each other with the page of wands to the page of cups. So it's going to be very uh, small talk. You know, it's, it's very fresh, like getting to know each other again. It's like so you guys can get to the ten of cups. And that's exactly what could end up happening with the Ten of Cups. Like, slow and steady, like, small conversation. Like, hey, how are you? You want to get to know each other? What's your favorite color? And fuck all that stupid little tiny talk, Virgos. Get to the fucking bottom of it. Skip the small shit. <laughs> fuck people's favorite colors. Get to the Ten of Cups. All right? Good. <laughs> uh, Empress Energy, you guys are in your power. And... Whatever's going on up there, it seems like you guys are choosing to kind of stay silent and move away from the situation quietly. You're not choosing to make any disturbance or be loud over the situation. You're just simply moving away from the situation quietly, Virgos. But nonetheless, this person could potentially end up coming back towards you guys. Like, judgment is on them pretty bad here. It's like, when are you going to wake up? Like, when are you going to start being able to look at things and be more open-minded? Like, when are you going to stop, like, get your head out of your asshole and, and start realizing that there's other things going on in this world and your feelings do matter. Your feelings matter and their feelings matter too. So judgment is, like, on them. It's like, are you going to wake up? Because they continue to try and get their attention, but it's like... 
what's going to happen now? Like this person's going to be too late. They're sitting there sad, heartbroken, misered, misery, Virgos, because you guys are no longer waiting on this person to get their shit together. This person's spying on you, looking for you, watching you, page of swords. They're heartbroken. They're sad. They know that they hurt you too, but more so they're going to end up absolutely hurt, heartbroken, depressed. I mean, this person's going to be laying in their bed crying, maybe, maybe in the shower crying too, because they're so sad over the fact that they totally fucked up on this whole entire connection between you and them. Meanwhile, it could have been a great connection between the two of you guys, right? But they let their fucking stupid shit, so they self sabotage the connection, and it is no one's fault but their own. You're not going to sit there and beg nobody for a little bit of nothing at the end of the day. So this person's going to want to communicate with you. They're spying on you. They're thinking about you. They can't stop Virgos. They're heartbroken. They're sad. They're miserable. They're crying. They're you're regretful because you guys are moving on and going into a new direction. We'll look with the full card. So this things are going to start spinning around on you guys' favor because you guys chose yourself three ones turned your back to wait away from it and said you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna explore life i'm gonna explore my options i'm gonna go on these new adventures and start from a beginning so a complete ending is going to come out of this because you guys simply have chosen yourself especially when you know what especially when you guys are at the table and you know exactly what you bring to the table so if they can't match that energy you have no problem walking away from it so this person's going to be thinking about you but they are going to get the clarity that they need while in while you guys are in separation from this person they're going to be thinking about you looking at your photos text messages and they're going to be feeling so nostalgic on you that they're going to have no choice but to want to come running back towards you guys because they're still in love with you they're still attracted to you they still have that connection with you and this person is want nobody else to have you but them but you're so highly intuitive virgos and so psychic and so within an earth angel light a light worker energy too like you guys will know right away when this person's coming on that malicious sis shit so technically this person has not changed at all so do expect them to try and freaking argue with you five of wands because they're on some stupid shit so they need to pull you down to make them feel good at the end of the day because you guys are like yeah i know i have a connection with you but i'm not going to sit here and chase you for no fuck nothing and because of that they are going to try and argue with you because they want to see you fight for them. This person wants to see you fight for them because they're so wanting to have everything in control with the Emperor card. They want to have control over everything. So if they have control over their relationship with the, between you and them, then they feel like they have control over you, which they don't. So if, when they come to argue with you, then you have no problem blowing the smoke at them, which is then you're going to leave them out in the cold five of pentacles. And you're fucking moving on. You're packing up your shit and you're like, fuck this. I'm mad. Like, you have the audacity to come back into my life when you're the one that fucked up the connection? Who the fuck are you? I'm the high priestess. I'm the queen of cups. Get the fuck out of my face. You want to argue with me? Fuck out of here. Five of pentacles, get the fuck out. Ten of wands, pack your shit and fucking turn left. A strength card, yeah, because this person wants to have control and power over you. Now they're left in the cold. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo energy, Sagittarius energy. They're burdened by the whole fucking thing now. This person needs healing. Straight the fuck up. They need healing, Virgos. They're going to be all the way fucked up when they knew that the, the way that they were coming towards you was not the right way. They should never have came towards you that way. They should have came towards you sincerely, been like, hey, sweetie, handsome. But they didn't. They came back on that stupid shit again. So since they want to act like they have control and power and they want to act like oh, they, they got to have control over the situation by controlling you and they wanted the smoke. So since they wanted the smoke, you have no problem blowing it. Five of, five of Pentacles, get the fuck out. Fuck out of here. The fuck you mean? Ten of Wands bitch bye the fuck you're out of there you're like yo fuck this i don't even want to fix this i'm gonna take my i'm gonna take the burdens and stress and i'm gonna fucking keep it moving fuck you and fuck your shit ten of wands you're out of there and this person thought that them having control and power over you that they were going to be able to do something to you but they didn't they couldn't because you're so fucking highly divinely protected with the temperance card that they're gonna they're gonna get the, rid of this fucking gemini libra aquarius out of your way for you and they're gonna put them in the fucking stress anxieties PTSD, trapped by their own thoughts because they're going to realize the way that they approached you was fucked up and exactly why because Virgos because of the seven of sword energy to fucking deceptive maybe this person here is all the way fucked up and they got some sort of mental illness too and they're going to try the best they can to come back for you again after the bullshit that they have fucking caused in your life stay away from this person yo stay away from them don't even fucking bother with them anymore because if they're going to feel like that when you're a high priestess oh Vir Virgos do you even know what comes out of that energy is fucking fucked up you guys got new opportunities coming towards you guys and you guys are cutting anything off that is low vibrational and toxic for you. You don't have time for it anymore, Virgos. You don't have time for it anymore. All right? This person's going to have to go within and realize that them fucking entertaining other options, other other things and putting you kind of second and last and then leaving you and then beefing with you and then trying to catch a reaction out of you. Nah, that shit don't work on a high priestess. 
you're stepping into your power. You being in the high priest, you're finally stepping into your power, understanding who you are and what you are, saying, you know, I'm a fucking high priestess. The fuck you mean? You want to come into my energy and try to fuck with me? Watch the smoke that I'm going to blow towards you. And they keep saying ancestors, ancestors, yo, the ancestors are going to come through and fuck them up for you. That's where they're all going to be in the eight of sword energy because they're going to, yo, your mind is not going to be well. Someone's mind is not going to be well for what they've done to you, Virgos. I promise you on that. It's going to be fucking severe karma because when you're coming in as a high priestess to the queen of cups, earth angel energy, when you have a mission on this earth plane and you're sitting here helping heal people and somebody wants to come and do you sideways oh you think they're gonna walk away fucking freely no 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 nobody walks away freely you're gonna have to pay up for that every time and this person was very low vibrational they're always having their fucking thing in their hand always stroking it always wanting to fucking uh just addictions so a lot of fucking sex addiction porn addiction aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius pisces energy virgo energy uh man virgos <laughs> all right and it's just stagnated right now, and they're realizing that they're the reason why all this shit's coming up. Because if they wouldn't, if they they had nothing, nothing. Virgo, when I say nothing, they're fantasies, they're three party situation, they're bullshit. The fuck what? Them acting recklessly and making these fast decisions to, to go into different directions when it doesn't serve them, they're gonna fucking realize that now. They're gonna come to the realize that they should have sacrificed all these fucking other people to genuinely be there for you, but they didn't, and they didn't. And they're coming back with that night. There's more swords energy within the next eight days after the Friday reading. All right. And you guys are walking away and getting out of the situation. You're taking back your power straight up, Virgos. And that's, and that's justice for you because you guys are not going to let nobody come into your energy, make you feel fucking fucked up at the end of the day. You guys are sitting in your power. You're happy. You're successful. You're sexy. You're looking good. Mm -mm. No. You guys could also be, oh my God, you guys could also be going towards an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And this person may honestly not want nothing to do with you, so straight up. Like, you guys may, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could possibly be going towards an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they're not going to want nothing to do with you because the way that you treated them was fucked up on a whole other level. And because you didn't treat them properly, you think that they're going to fucking act like they need you? Nah, no, no. They're going to fucking lift their head up high, and they're going to continue to move forward. All right? This person wants to come back and balance the situation between the two of you guys and bring this proposal for you. But they got to put an end to their shit. They got to put an end to their shit. If they don't change their ways, they're not going to be able to come back into your grace because a lot of you guys are blocking this person, keeping them at bay. Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Leo energy. This person's wanting to come back. They want to heal, heal the relationship, work on it. Ten of Pentacles, this is what they want. This is who they want. They want you. They have lots of love for you. They're stressed out. They can't get you off their mind. And they know that they completely fucked up the whole entire relationship by putting you in a three-party situation. They're hoping that they're going to be able to work the relationship out between you and them. But this person fucked up on a whole other level. They fucked up, Virgos, that this quote potentially could be uh, them suffering mentally for the next nine years, knowing damn well that you were the one that got away. Thanks, cuties. Bye.